Hey, tearing down history, a more than century old opera house in western Kansas is about to be obsolete. Learned officials say the building is a danger to public safety. Alexis Padilla takes us down memory lane ahead of the demo. It's a bustling little town out here on the prairie. Larned, Kansas, founded in the early 1870s. This guy named John Schneck in 1886 decides he, the community, could support and needs a uh, venue to show plays and stuff. 1887, right on the corner of 4th Street and Broadway, built on top of five businesses, the Opera House was born. They're doing shows. They've got traveling troops coming in and putting on performances. They're just living the little Western dream there. The Opera House providing more than entertainment, also hosting graduations. There's a tradition in the theater where like stage managers and actors would sign the walls behind the curtain in the backstage area. And so a lot of the, the youth that were graduating started doing that. And so there's there's all these neat signatures up there from the early 20th century. Historian Kevin Holt says the Opera House closed somewhere in the 1930s, having many owners over the decades, including Alan Martin. I purchased 406. I was not under the understanding that I was responsible for helping maintain the entire building. According to the city of Larned, that's not the reality. Unfortunately, my building is part of the uh, demolition. And so emotionally, I, you know, I, I don't want it to go. But from a contractor perspective, he understands. And it's had a happy life. We're sad to see it go, but you know, it's, it's probably time. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3. Well, demolition could start as soon as this week. The city says December's windstorm is to blame for some of the damage.